What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Teens. In this video, I'm gonna share about my favorite features of Studio One. Okay, I've been using Studio One for almost a month now and I really enjoy working with Studio One. And as you can see, I'm still using the demo version for now. I will definitely get Studio One Pro soon. I might subscribe to Sphere first for now before I cross grade to Studio One. So in this video, I'm gonna just share about my favorite feature of Studio One. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first one is the audio buffer settings in Studio One. So let me show you guys what I meant. I'm gonna go to Studio One, go to option, and here under this audio setup, there's two tab here, audio device, and processing device. So audio device is where you can set your sample rate. The sample rate that I'm using right now is 256 samples, which is quite good. The latency is not that bad. And then there's another tab here for processing, which uh, I'm using 2048 samples, okay? So this is what differentiate Studio One from other DAWs. Because most DAWs, they only have one type of buffer settings. For instance, if you want to record your audio, you have to go and manually change the buffer settings every time. And then if you want to do mixings and you want to add a lot of plugins, then you want to go back and change the buffer settings after that. But here in Studio One, you only have to set it one time and you're good to go. So for the first, so here you have this audio device, which is set for, for 256 samples. And for the processing, I'm using 2048 samples. So I don't have to come back here to the audio buffer settings and change them, change them all the time, all right? So that's so powerful. I've never seen such features in any other doll. Okay, so that's my first favorite feature of Studio One. The next one is, the next one is the track preset. Okay, so as you all know that I also do film scoring and most of the time I use a uh, contact library with lots of output within that library. And I'm gonna show you guys what I've done with the track preset here. I'm gonna go to instrument and I'm gonna go to track preset right here. Okay, I'm gonna go to instrument and I have the strings and I have the strings uh, track preset. I'm gonna go to string two and I'm gonna just drag it here. Okay, when I drag it here, you can see this folder. So I'm gonna open this folder. Now I have this violins two violins, viola, cello, and bass, a basic string section, okay? And now, if you, if I go to the mixer console, or mix console, I have this um, violins added, right? Here is the violin. I'm gonna play something for you. Okay, if you notice, I have this violin patch with reverb on it. See that there's a reverb sound in it. That is because I've already added the reverb here. Okay, and when I drag this folder to this timeline, all the instrument, this contact library with the effects and with this bus settings here, everything is being added to the project, okay? So that's gonna save a lot of times for me. And I can create as many, as many track preset I want and I can use it when I create music. I can also organize them. So if I right click on this and go to new folder and let's say orchestral, right? Okay, now with this orchestral and I'm gonna drag them up to this folder. Okay, now I can create a new folder right and i can have this as strings and i'm gonna i can i can drag this inside the strings folder so under instrument i have orchestral strings and then i have this string section here so i can add as many strings as i want so that is so powerful so that's the second feature that i like in studio one so if you guys want to know how to do it just let me know I'll show you guys in the next video. Okay, in order for me to show the third features, I'm gonna have to record something. So let's record something here right now. Okay, I'm gonna add a piano track right here. So 
simple track. Okay, let's say I've already mixed this track. If I want to master this song, I can go to song, I can go to add to project and I select new project. Okay, so new project, I am going to set the name now. Test, okay, sample rate, change it to 48. And I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, now what happened is that track is now being rendered and added to this project file. Okay. Okay, so now let's master this track. So I'm going to just go here, add some fade, and maybe adjust the gain a little bit, so on, right? So while I'm mixing while I'm mastering this track I, I notice that some of the note is quite harsh right so then I'll go back to the song page and let's say I'm gonna go here and and maybe quantize them and and adjust the velocity like so, like so. okay once I've done that I'm going to go here and click save okay so I did some kind of changes with the velocity with the quantize and stuff if I go back to the mastering page now you can see this red circle here now this indicates that the original file now the original file has been messed around so it's not the same one that I have here in this project file so what I can do now is I can go back to the song page I can come here to the song I'll go here and just click on this update mastering file and hit yes once I've done that I can go back to the project here and now this new file is the one that I just changed right so that definitely saved a lot of my time when I'm mixing and mastering so that's another feature that I like in studio one the other one is the this one scratch pad so I was messing around with some string ideas right so I don't know whether I will use this string section however I have another space here where I can come here and I just play around and find some muse and creative ideas before I can actually work on something okay and the best part is I have as I can add as many scratch pad I want so now the earlier one is this one and the second one is this one so I can quickly go to scratch pad and just you know improvise something and if I like it I can use it in the main page if I don't like it I can just put it there and it's not going to bother me at all because uh, it's not visible unless if I go and open the scratch pad so scratch pad is another feature that I think is so valuable for a musician okay the next feature that I like in studio one is the transform feature Okay, what is transform track? Let me show you guys. I have this piano instrument track here. I'm gonna right click on it, go to transform to audio track. Okay, I'm gonna click on this. And it's gonna ask me whether I want to render all channels. I'm gonna uncheck that because I'm not gonna render all the channels in this contact library. And I'm gonna also add the auto tail. I'm gonna add some tail here. Maximum length is seven seconds. Okay, that's good and I'm gonna hit OK now this piano track is being transformed to an audio track however if I want to use this MIDI I can just drag this MIDI to another instrument track and I can quickly move around this MIDI track together with this audio track okay I don't know how they work this thing out but this is so powerful okay Okay, so let's say this violin, I want this violin to have the same melody line of this piano. I can just drag it to violin or viola, like so, or both, right? So now I can play them.
and if let's say I didn't like it okay I want to come and change some of the notes I can right click on it again and go to transform to instrument track and now it changed to an instrument track okay so I can come here maybe change this note and then add another note here maybe okay it's too loud let me bring it down okay I can close this and now I can go to transform to audio track and hit OK so now if I play this section here see that okay and another reason why this is useful is sometimes some of the strings library or would be in or, or any horn library the attack is not straight so even the note says it's gonna start here sometimes the attack is kinda slow so now with this transform track I know where the initial attack is gonna be so then I can I can adjust them accordingly let's say if I wanna move it here so now I can see the attack hits there I can just you know move it around but with the MIDI notes here I won't be able to see that okay so that is the five features of studio one that I like and these five features is useful for musician music producer anyone who's doing music so that's it for today guys i hope you guys find this video helpful if you guys did please make sure to subscribe turn on notification smash the like button and share this video all right thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video